What's going on, everybody? It's Bucky here. Um, so today we're going to be starting the Doom 3 uh, BFG Edition playthrough. Um, we also have Doom 1 and Doom 2, as well as Resurrection of Evil and the 8 Lost Levels. I will be covering those as well in this, but I'm going to beast mode this out as quick as I can. I will be playing on Marine, which is normal, just to make sure that I can beast mode this out. I also have excellent hot tea. Um, I will be going over most of like the hidden items and stuff in here that I remember just off the top of my head. Uh, most of the cabinet codes I won't uh, remember because it's been quite a long time. Um, I'm no slouch at Doom 3. Um, for those of you that do follow me on like, you know, Twitch or something. Um, for those of you that can follow me like, on Twitch and stuff, um, I did uh, do the original um, on Veteran with No HUD. Yeah, I think it was Doom 3 Veteran No HUD, a hardcore run. And I didn't die once. So, I basically pulled the ultimate. I guess, except for Nightmare Mode, but Nightmare Mode's pretty intense anyway, so health decreases to 25, and at that point everybody can watch out, so... Definitely a challenge, but I feel like veterans is uh, more of a challenge now, so we're going to start a new game. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, New ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Okay, so off the bat, that's already different. There's a lot of things that they did change in this game, as opposed to uh, the original Doom 3. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063, passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that, Tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. Okay, so welcome to the hangar. This already actually feels a bit slow. Um, so I'm not used to a controller. Man, this is... I feel like... Actually, this needs to be turned down a bit for my own ears' sake. Okay. Um, vertical sync's disabled, anti-aliasing. I could probably bump up anti-aliasing, but I'm not gonna. Motion blurs. Stupid. Um... Controls, controller, that's been down, no, there. Okay, that feels better. Um, for starters, uh, the graphics are a lot better uh, than the original Doom 3. The texture quality is, um, it's rendered under id Tech 5, which is the Rage engine, uh, so obviously everything's going to look better. Um, it's a lot brighter. It's a lot more action-paced. The scare, the scare factor is still there, but it's not too much there. The HUD has been completely changed. If you'll notice, uh, under settings, there's really nothing 
you know, in system. I mean, you don't even have options for mods or anything. So, I mean, you got 3D options, which is cool, um, I guess. To Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. Here. To um, expedite your processing, please but proceed. There's really no, not a lot of options. It was mainly designed for consoles. One of the things, one of the reasons why they made this um, was specifically for consoles because the consoles never really saw a true Doom 3 release. I mean, they had one for the Xbox, and that was pretty shit compared to the PC version. So this was a quote unquote proper release uh, geared towards consoles, more action packed, stuff like that. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. Started quicker. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bio scan looks good. You're cleared for entry. So this should, if my skills are up to snuff, should take me a solid three to four days of recording. Um, Attention, Director Banks. And Please report to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being. We get this later. It's just a safety video. You can watch this if you want. Um, God, what was I saying? Oh, I do start my new job, not this next week, but like a week from this coming Wednesday. So the Wednesday after this Wednesday. I'll say it. 21st. Um, so I'm going to try and beast mode this. It should take me a solid three to four days to record it all, and I do plan to record it all in three to four days. This is kind of like an intro type of thing. Not going to last long, probably about an hour. So, yeah. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. PDA, you'll notice, has been redesigned for consoles. This is not very good, uh, you know, the PC version. You know, basically, I say that this is the console version, and the original is the true PC version, which it is. And they both have their merits. I do like the BFG edition. I love the original version even more. But I figured I would play this to show you guys what's different, what's new, um, what's updated, stuff like that. So, and it's like one of my favorite games of all time. So this is a great excuse Mars to play City it again. Is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only I'm in here designated areas. Because there seems to be Thank some very serious problems. Oh really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Um, so I do want to thank everybody uh, that participated in my uh, channel update and viewed it. Uh, they gave me feedback anyway. I'm pretty sure I'll still get some more feedback, but I think I'm going to stick to the uh, 25 to 30 minute 
uh, video range for now. As I see a lot of people like that since they like to, you know, quote unquote, binge watch. Or I even have one guy, I think it's uh, Salvadorable, likes to uh, smoke a pipe of tobacco while watching him. So thank you to everybody that participated. I know, I think it was Jarza. I think Jarza, you like you wanted the 20 to 25, um, but I am going to stick with the the slightly longer videos. Um, you know, I can't please everybody, but you know, I got to go with what the majority wants to wants to watch and is comfortable with. Um, you know, uh, he said it, it's all right if I don't. So, yeah, but I do appreciate all of your feedback, and I do love each and every one of you. Miller, you're about Corporal Allen. So yeah, I'll shut up. Just lost it. I think if you get. 25,000 score on this, you get uh, an email saying, basically saying congratulations, you wasted your life, your parents must be very proud of you. And it's kind of a <laughs> kind of a big move, but Easter egg in here. Um, there's a QuakeCon reference in here. So, you can't pick up your fists. And originally you could pick up your fists and you could come around and you could punch things and stuff, but We'll be able to later, so... so those suits arrive too. My buddy! The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Wait, is there no subtitles? I feel like there should be subtitles. I thought they added subtitles to this. I guess not. Never mind. Is that what they're calling him now? So, so now we have the PDA. We can come uh, download these. Hmm back is the PDA, obviously. Um, the game actually on the new engine runs a lot smoother. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment report to Sergeant Office Kelly Alpha. You'd have to uh, play it to understand what I'm talking about. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You can pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Sergeant Kelly also has hair, quote unquote, or a buzz cut, I guess, if you will. In the original, uh, a lot of these character models weren't uh, that. Defined. Attention, UAC personnel. So yeah. Interested in earning more credit? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. Our city underground. Also, shit loads so much quicker in the BFG edition as well. It is recommended to take auto saving off, um, as it will interact with your Doom 3 experience quite a bit. I would recommend you just pause and save. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Okay, another big change. Now you're ready for combat. Flashlight is now stuck onto your armor. In the original, you actually had to whip it out, and Mark you could melee with it, check. which would do 40 damage, Excellent. as opposed Good to your team. fists per hit only doing 20, so you got to double the damage with Looks the flashlight. Like been the um, this one facility. runs out in the original. All it never ran out. The underground so straight out. that's another big well, difference, which also kind of takes Keep away some of the scare factor. Surface, like I said, a lot of these... Uh, Areas are okay, you're all set. brighter than the original. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. So don't get excited and shoot it. It's also easier to uncover some secrets. There's also some armor, and I think some shotgun shells up there that I won't be getting. And in that room right there, um, when you're on the way back, uh, after triggering what's going to happen, or finding the scientist, I guess. When you're on your way back from finding the scientist, uh, there's some plasma cells, some armor shards, and I think a health station as well. If you already need some health, there's a med kit right there. The light. Hey. Guy's unimportant. All he says is he's a fucker, and he hates life, and he wants to die. Armor shards are there. Also, not many people know about the armor shards up here. 
that you can jump up and get. So that's always fun. Listen, Scotty, I've done this a million times. It's us. Hey, what the hell's going on up there? Nothing. Don't don't fucking worry about it. It's all right. This one, I want to say it's like five two six five five three six. I don't know. I forget. I don't know. It might actually be in this one. I don't know. Adam Bernays. Yeah, it's him. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, you actually have to listen to his this audio. This is the audio log. log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November tenth, twenty one forty five. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. Five three one. I did, yep. however, have another <laughs> odd experience while I was down there. That uh, is amazing. Okay, think of the scenario logs. You can also take uh, a lot of people think that you have to listen to me in the PDA, um, but that's not true. I don't know if they actually changed this in the BFG edition, but in the original Doom 3, if you were in your PDA, it would not pause your game. So uh, if a monster snuck up on you, they would actually do damage to you which added a little bit of a horror element to it as well. When you come in here, you'll catch a glimpse of armor shards down there. You can get to them over here, but it's ideal to go down here and through here, and then jump back up, and there you go. You can shoot that guy, all you do is scare him. This has no negative impact on your game, by the way, shooting everything. So, I've played this game way too many times to leave any everybody alive as they just die. Anyway. Kill him. Take his PDA. Not important. The atmosphere to this game? Absolutely phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. So. Come to the right, over here. Jump up on this. Got some clips, that, oxygen, which you need. Ah, yes, there were some armor shards there. Alright, there are some more items over there, but I'll cover those when we backtrack. Complete ritual calm building. Well done, us. And here is where we find the scientist. Huh? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Sisters I can't let. I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. What? The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. We can't hold these levels. Spoilers, he turns into a zombie. You can kill him. Saves you one enemy. First time I played this uh, this game, I think it was 13 at the time, and it scared me so bad I literally could not play it for a month. I had the strategy guide, and I read the strategy guide for that month, and I finally built up the courage to do it, and eventually got to the point where I just said, you know what, it's not that bad. That was adrenaline I just picked up, that gives you infinite stamina for 60 seconds. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, we got a situation. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in some level. Replace like both systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. 
Command HQ attempting to secure the area. Fuck this up, don't fuck this up. Okay. Well, I kind of did. Oh, hell. Okay. <laughs> I think I was actually here. The last time. I'm not sure. 7.36, 6.30. We'll see. I don't know. I just don't want to... If I have to backtrack a little bit, I will. No, that's not it. Damn. Okay. Oh, don't tell me it's the same. It is. Alright. Hold on. What I'll do, since I can actually... Oh, I don't think I can. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. I'll just Most blow through all of it. Place on Mars. This is why I said by need you to grab some armor save. Anyway, and your pistol what I was trying to get, which security. totally wasn't worth it. Um, okay, grab your gear. Shotgun shells and some armor shards. Okay. Now you're ready for combat. Let's go, dude. Let me do right I'll show you how I actually play Doom 3. <laughs> Mouse and keyboard, baby. Mars sack radio check. Oh, really? Excellent. Good. They actually? No, that's got to change immediately. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna blow through it. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Controllers in my lap, vibrating like mad. Through the underground junction, then straight out. Should be good. have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than the Okay, boxes? let's go. Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working there. Don't get excited and shoot it. Hey, you're looking at I'll probably do a legitimate speed run of this game, like legitimate speed run. No glitches or anything. F is for flashlight. U is for unicorns. And F is, well, F is for fairies. U is for unicorns. Stuff like that. Yeah, sorry I died on that. We gotta go through all this again. I think maybe, maybe you might be able to skip the cutscene. I'm just gonna forget about that because I don't need that stuff up there, so. Okay. Whoa. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. I need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. K kidding me? I just got from point A to point B in like two minutes, bro. Skip. Ah, uh, you can't skip huh? this? Are you serious? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Systems I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is, is real. real. I know. I built his cage. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God. I can't hold these levels. Bye. Clips. If anything else noteworthy in here. That's new. Let me do the thing. I want to do the thing. Let me do the thing. Let me do the thing. Force. Call back to Marine HQ to regroup. 